Hi, so this is just a quick uh, tip tutorial on uh, how to get the most out of uh, reflections. So I've got this simple mini bus model here and um, if we just render this scene it's quite flat, uh, there's no lighting so the first thing we want to do is um, just add some lighting and you're, you basically just want to work with free lights at the very minimum so sort of key light and I'll just call this K light. You want a fill light and that should kind of, if your camera's like facing this way, you want your key light, um, depends on personal preference, but I generally set it up like this. So imagine the camera's in this direction, that's my key light, that's my fill light, and the fill light is um, a lot less intense, and then I create a backlight as well, which kind of goes behind the minibus. And I'm using Omni lights, so I probably won't get the best kind of effects. But um, it will it'll work for the purposes of this tutorial. So I'm just gonna just replace my backlight. So the first thing uh, you can do if you want to make the most of reflections is create a sky object. So go to um, go here and create a sky object, and then apply to that an HDRI map. So I've got my content browser uh, here, and I'm just going to have a look at my materials. And Cinema 4D comes with a few materials uh, located under, let's have a look, Prime, Materials, and it's got some basic HDRI maps in here. So I'm going to choose something like this, an outdoor uh, scene, and I'm going to drag and drop that onto the sky object, and I'm going to render this. Now the first thing I need to do is... Uh, turn on reflections. So this is my body material, the blue material here. So I'm going to turn on reflections and I'm going to just reduce it slightly and let's have a look. And as you can see we've got some really cool reflections coming out now. Sometimes uh, your HDRI map might be massive so if you click on the material you can increase the tiles here. But uh, in this case, it seems to look okay. So I'm just going to go with the original number of tiles. That looks okay to me. And um, to make the most of HDRI, uh, you probably might want to use a physical render. And you want to turn on uh, global illumination, probably. And increase the number of bounces. Uh, so I'm just going to have a look at it with the physical render, just very quickly. So this is the result with the physical render, and it looks quite good. I mean, the model is a, a low-poly game model, so just ignore that. Try and focus on the lighting. And um, I think that looks quite realistic. It's kind of taken into consideration the sky object, and um, these reflections are looking quite nice. Uh, Lighting-wise, it kind of looks okay. Now, if you can't use a sky object, the next best thing is to create a disk like this and um, apply basically a pure white material. So that's just check the luminance channel and it's just pure white and drag and drop that onto your disk. And uh, make the disk quite large in radius. So I'm just going to make it a thousand and I'm just going to pull it up and you want to place it above the van. So I'm just going to turn off GI just to get a quick preview. And as you can see as soon as you add like a white kind of box above the object the reflections kind of look a lot better kind of brings out um, kind of nice highlights. And this is quite a nice little trick to kind of get your reflections looking a lot better especially for an interior scene where you don't want to use a sky uh, object. So I might just turn off sky, just render it just with the white disk and as you can see it really brings out those highlights, it looks quite nice. So uh, those are basically two quick uh, tips for uh, making the most of reflections and uh, thanks for watching.